Normally, on the graph, you are given maximum and minimum points. Use the coordinates of maximum and minimum points. We can figure out amplitude, midline, also the period. We know amplitude is the distance between midline and maximum point. In other words, it's half the distance between maximum and minimum points. Amplitude equals maximum minus minimum over 2. Midline is the vertical midpoint between maximum and minimum. This D equals maximum plus minimum over 2. We know the period equals the distance between two consecutive maximum points or two consecutive minimum points. Therefore, the horizontal distance between maximum and minimum points will be half the period. So we get period equals double the horizontal distance between maximum and minimum points. Using this formula, P equals 360 degree over B, we can figure out this B equals 360 degree over period. In IBAI SL level, no horizontal translation. So in this video, we only discuss f of x equals a sine bx plus d, or f of x equals a cosine bx plus d. We know this d is a vertical translation. y equals d is the equation of a principal axis. Absolute value of a is the amplitude. This b, we can use 360 degree over period to figure out. Let's go to question one. The curve shown can be modeled by the function f of x equals p cosine qx plus r. x greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 12. Find the value of q. Let's look at this uh, cosine function. We know absolute value of P is uh, amplitude. This Q, we can use a 360 degree over P to figure out. This R is the midline. From given graph, we can figure out the coordinates of the maximum point, 6, 16. Minimum point, 0, 8. R equals vertical middle point between maximum and minimum, 16 plus 8 over 2 equals 12. So, y equals 12 is the equation of a principal axis. You have to write down y equals 12 form because uh, this is a principal axis. It has to be a function. So amplitude equals 16 minus 8 over 2 equals 4. Also, from this graph, you can figure out 16 minus 12 equals 4. This is the amplitude. 
we can figure out a period distance between these two consecutive uh, minimum points. It's a 12. So we know period equals 12. Q equals 360 over 12 equals 30. Question 2. The curve shown can be modeled by function f of x equals a sine bx plus c. a, b, c are all positive real numbers. x greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 12. Find the value of a. We are given the coordinates of maximum point and minimum point. Vertical midpoint between maximum and minimum will be principal axis. Y equals 500 plus 200 over 2 equals 350. Amplitude it's the absolute value of A. Amplitude is uh, half the distance between maximum and minimum value. So we get A equals 500 minus 200 over 2 equals 150. P equals double the horizontal distance between these two consecutive maximum and minimum points. Get 12. So B equals 360 over 12 equals 30. We already figured out the value of A, B in the function of f of x. The c is the midline, which means the c equals 350. So we can write down the function f of x equals 150 sine 30x plus 350. Solve f of x equals 300. We can set up 300 equals 150 sine 30x plus 350. We are given the domain for this uh, function. This x is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 12. We will solve this uh, equation by graphing. We will put a function into f1 of x, 300 into f2 of x. We will still use a graph on scratch pad. Make sure the angle is in degree. Then put f of x in F1 of X. Enter. You couldn't see anything here. Go to menu 4. Enter to change the window setting. Since we already given the domain, X minimum is 0. Maximum is 12. X skill, we will use the period divided by 4. Period is 12 divided by 4. Y minimum, we will use 100. Maximum, 600. Auto, let's use 100. Enter. This is the graph for f of x. Then press tab to get f2 of x. We will put 300 into f2 of x. Enter. These two intersections will be 
our solution. Manual again, go to 6, analyze graph, 4. Control manual again, go to recent intersection. We are given three figure fix. We need to change the setting of this graph. Go to manual, setting, change display digits into auto. Then automatically label points. OK. You will get more decimal places for your solution. By graphing, we got two solutions. x1 equals 6.64904 dot dot dot. x2 equals 11.351 dot dot dot. Or you can write down three sigma fix, 6.65 or 11.4. It's really up to you. Let's go to question five. Solve f of x greater than or equal to 400. We need to solve 150 sine 30x plus 350 greater than or equal to 400. We still solve by graphing. Go back to this uh, graph page on scratch pad. Click on tab, upper arrow. Change f2 of x into 400. Enter. We still need to figure out uh, these two intersections. Menu, six, analyze graph, intersection. Control menu, recent intersection. By graphing, we figure out uh, two roots x1 equals 0 0.649041 x2 equals 5.35096 Since we are looking for the function greater than or equal to 400 means uh, this part of uh, the graph will be the solution, which means uh, when x greater than or equal to x1 less than or equal to x2 will be the solution. x greater than or equal to 0 0.649041 less than or equal to 5.35096 then f of x greater than or equal to 400.